I found a way to make infinite AI generated patterns that can be created completely for free and sold across hundreds of different products. Here is how. Before we start, I design merch full time and if you want to check out my brand, there's a link in the description. Thank you. So as you probably know, there are people on Etsy, if you search patterns, there are many people on Etsy just selling digital pattern packs and making lots of money, thousands of dollars a month, just from these seamless pack designs. All different niches from floral designs to fruit to abstract designs. People sell these so that other people can use these to put on their own products or on their own artistic expression as well as to use for commercial rights. Many of these sellers sell the commercial rights to these patterns so that they can make money so other creators can go out and and do cool stuff with their with their patterns. So like these ones comes with JPEG images, PNG images, 300 DPI, and there's all types of different patterns that you can buy, make, and sell. But that's not the only way that you can sell these patterns. I'll be going over four different ways to profit from these patterns. So stay tuned to the end of the video so you can see all the different ways. One of the great things about selling these pattern packs as digital products on Etsy or at digital products in general is that you keep almost all of the revenue. They're basically 100% profit because you're selling them an image like a PNG or a vector file and they're automatically getting sent and emailed those files once they buy it. So you don't have to do any of that shipping work that comes with a physical product. That leaves you to do the SEO, the titles, find the ideas and make the artwork. So the first website we'll be using to create our patterns is called tilemaker.app. TileMaker is basically a text to image software, except that every image is perfectly seamless. You can type anything in and it'll create a different generation every time. It produces a 512 by 512 pixel image that you can then take and upscale in some programs I'll be showing later. And once it's up you can then use it on products. Not to mention it makes this amazing sound every time it finishes an image. The second way we'll be generating patterns will be with Leonardo AI. You get 150 free generations a day that can be used commercially. If you want to find good prompts or inspiration for your patterns, go to the community feed and then just search patterns. The searches won't always be perfect or seamless, but it shows some interesting ideas that you can come up with. For example, let's click this donut seamless pattern right here. It tells us the exact prompt and details used to make this. So we can go in and press remix and recreate it ourselves. So here is my first attempt at putting the same prompt in to create seamless patterns. And if you look, they are seamless. And being seamless comes from turning on this tiling option right here and keeping it at a square. 768 by 768 and it keeps your image perfectly tiled so if i want to upscale this i could use tokens from leonardo and just have it upscale it myself and then put it into photoshop but there are other ways to do it too so here's the upscaled image so now we can take our image to a website called vectorizer ai and right now it's free we can drag and drop our image select OK down here and let it do its process. And now it created us a vectorized result, which we can click download up here. So then we can get and download in five different file formats, including SVG, EPS, all the way to PNG. We'll wanna save as an SVG and press download. And that means we can now use it for printing. So now we're gonna go into Photoshop and open up our file and make sure it's seamless. So when you open up an SVG file, it's infinitely scalable because it's a vector. So I'm just going to open it at 6051 pixels, which was the default it gave me. So that's one of the things about Vectorizer AI is sometimes if you don't have the right settings selected, it'll render it not perfectly seamless. So here's how we'll fix that. 
Let's press fix size and clip overflow. Make sure these are checked and then we'll press download again. So now look at that. It's perfectly seamless all the way to the edge. This is what we wanted and it's vectorized. So you can see right here, it's perfectly vectorized, perfectly seamless, ready to be used. So now we're gonna create it as a pattern in Photoshop. So we'll go to edit and then define pattern. I'm just gonna write donut and press okay. Double click our layer and go to pattern overlay. Go down here and click on our donut pattern. So now we can scale it as much or little as we want and we can even put it on an angle if we want but I'm gonna keep it at zero. See like this pattern isn't perfect, it still has its imperfections and that's the thing. With AI art, you have to keep doing trials and errors so that you can test and get what you want eventually. I bet if we did two more or four more of these donut tile generations, we would have gotten some perfect options. But now that we have this rendered on a bigger image scaled down with the pattern, we're going to file export and quick export as PNG. We can then use that file to upload to our where we'll then sell the design on. So besides selling your products as like a digital pattern pack on Etsy, you can also list your products on Redbubble, which is completely passively once you add a new artwork. So you can upload your artwork and automatically render it on any of these products that you seem fit. Most popular, I would say, would be your phone cases. Most chance to make sales on things like phone cases and pillowcases. With certain products, the design isn't big enough to cover the whole area, so you either need to render a larger file in Photoshop or you can go down here and press choose pattern and do regular grid. Mine isn't perfectly seamless here because I separately exported it in Photoshop the way I did with the last one by upscaling it. So I have the pattern by itself as a file but this was a 6000 wide file that I then used so I could just paste it on some of these products. But if you use a product that's perfectly seamless, like the patterns we designed earlier, this will work perfectly. There's all sorts of products that have the potential to sell here, and that's the cool part. The work you have to put in then is making your titles, making your tags so people find your products on the marketplace, and then wait. Redbubble sends you a check once a month to your PayPal account, and yeah. The next option would be if you want to sell physical products on your own, you can use a service like Printify or Printful, which are completely free print on demand services where you can upload your products to many hundreds of different products and list them on your Etsy store or on your own website as physical products. And when someone orders them, they will automatically send those products to the customer. And then the last option for the video to make money with these patterns is Merch by Amazon. This is Amazon's kind of version of Redbubble. You have to apply first and send in a portfolio of your work, but you can upload your patterns. You can upload your patterns to products like pop sockets, phone cases, pillows, and tote bags, and then list them on Amazon where they'll sell on Amazon and Amazon will make them every time you make a sale. Similar to Redbubble, you have to write your titles, your tags, and your descriptions. But if you had thousands of phone cases listed, you could be theoretically bringing in thousands of dollars a month in passive income. And it's passive because once you did that work, you then will get a check once a month for the rest of your life as long as those products are posted. If you felt inspired or this video helped you in any way, please let me know. I appreciate the time you took to watch this video and thank you. I hope you have a good day. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, peace.